What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Allison. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. In today's video, we are creating this super green, smoky, glitter, glam for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I'm off this year for St. Patrick's Day, so I'm pretty excited to get full glam for it. You know I like to get full glam whenever I can. There's not much else to say other than if you want to see how I created this eyeshadow look, then make sure you keep on watching. We're getting straight into this makeup tutorial. As you guys can see, I do have eyeshadow on this eye right here. I mean, we're not done, but the eyeshadow is there. Now we're going to jump into this eye. I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette today for pretty much all the shadows. So first color we're going to use is this color right here. I don't know the name of it. I don't know where the paper is with the name on it. It's somewhere around here, but that's the color we're going to use first. And that is just to get a transition color in. Just using a blender brush. This is actually from Kylie. We're just going to start on the outer corner and work our way into the inner corner area. Transition is on. Now we are going to deepen it up just a little We're bit. We're going to be using this like brown tan shade right here. If you know the name, comment down below. It's going to deepen up this transition. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna just straight jump into some green eyeshadows. Now, what I'm going to tell you guys before I start putting the green eyeshadow on is that it doesn't really look good. It doesn't look like it blends out very well. I almost like just literally stopped and was gonna take the eyeshadow off and basically start over and rethink what I was going to do today as far as eyeshadow on my eyes. Right now it's looking okay. I think that once I put the rest of my face on, it'll look even better. So we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Okay. All right, so now we are literally going straight into this dark green color. I'm switching my brush, and this is like a really old MAC 217. I mean, how many years have I had this? I am first going to pack it kind of on the outer corner and then slowly start to bring it over. And this is where it starts to get like really ugly and patchy. It takes a while. I mean, it takes a while to like really blend it out. So if you are following along on this tutorial, we blend for quite a while, okay? I'm not going to show all the entire blending, but you'll get the gist of what I'm doing and you just got to work with it to make it look blended. So we are slowly bringing it this way. See if you can tell it starts to like have like all that streakiness. I need to remember to turn my damn phone on silent. Anyway. Not doing circular motions, I just bring in the shadow backwards this way and it kind of clears up those streaks that I get. Dipping into a little bit more product and we're just deepening up this crease. So once I got to like this point I go back into the second brown shade and I just kind of like blend it together we're kind of going to be going back and forth to both the browns and the greens to make sure that everything is just blended out now I'm moving on to just like a morphe blender and I'm not really dipping it into anything I'm just kind of blending it with the browns And then I go back with the other blender and blend some more. It's just a lot of blending. Now I'm going back in with the MAC 217, picking up some more green. We are packing some more on the outer corner and deepening up the crease. We kind of go back and forth as far as like packing to blending to packing to blending. Just dipped into some more product. Just still trying to fuse the streakiness. Switching brushes to then blend up here a little bit more. 
All right, I think we're to the point where we're just gonna move on and I'm going to carve out my lid for the shimmer using my Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC and Soft Ochre. Just using like a flat brush. Don't know where this brush is from. All right, so it should look something like this. Going back into the MAC brush, dipping into some more green. We are going to blend this in on the outer corner. That's looking pretty good. Just using this flat brush from Tarte, we are dipping into this green shimmer color right there. I don't wet the brush for this shadow either. I start on the inner corner. I just kind of follow the line. Dipping into more product as I need to. Now what I do, this is just like a angled brush. <laughs> Dipping into the green, we are just going to deepen up like where that like cut crease is a little bit. Okay, then I went and picked up my Dose of Colors Desi X Katie The Girls palette and I dipped into Harpoon put that like right here and then there was kind of no reason for it. It almost looks a little clumpy but you can see like the gold reflex that they have in it. After I did it I was like oh I could have like not done that but since we did do it I'm just going to even it out on this side just so it looks very similar. We are going to wet it with some Fix Plus. Just lightly get it on the inner corner just so the eyes look even. All right, I think that's looking pretty even. Woo! Next step, we are gonna put some glitter on the eyes. So this is NYX, it's just a glitter, it's Glitter Brilliance. I think I got it at like Nordstrom Rack or something like that. Pour some in the lid. This is the brush that I was using earlier. We got some Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Dip the brush in the glitter glue, then dip the brush in the glitter. Just pack it on like this side of my eye. There is a lot of fallout, so be ready to get glitter pretty much everywhere. So now that the glitter is on there, I'm going to go into the brush, the MAC brush. Get a little bit more green. Just kind of blend it out over here. What do you know? Like the eyes are pretty much done as far as like the shadow on the lid. What I'm going to do now is clean up all this fallout on my face. Clean up this like outer corner right here. I am going to get the rest of my face on and we'll be back to finish the bottom lash line. Okay? And we're back like we left something. I pretty much have my entire face on. We used, guess what foundation? Fenty Beauty, yes. I use my Tarte Clay Play Face Palette for my contour. For highlighter, I used Anastasia X Amrezy Highlighter. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. If you haven't gotten this, you need to get it. But then I topped it off with some Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Fuego. For my blush, I used Pure Cosmetics. I'm sorry, I didn't even use blush. I used, just used the bronzer for like the blush area. <laughs> for my lip, I used MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner and Strip Down over my entire lip. And then I topped it off with Tarte Cosmetics Lip Paint and Get It. I also used my Bad Gal Bang Mascara for just to mix in my lashes with the fake lashes. My lashes today are Ardell. I did use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. I used the MAC X Patrick Star Setting Powder for my setting powder today. <laughs> now we're ready to finish these eyes and call it a day. So, basically just going to use the same colors on my under eye as I did my eyeshadow. I already put black eyeliner on my waterline with this Vintage Cosmetics black eyeliner. Got that in my February BoxyCharm. Now we're just going to get this 
bottom lash line going. I'm basically just putting like a base for the green shadow. I know it looks like super unblended over here, but we're gonna like blend it all out, okay? I'm just taking like a flat brush. We're gonna dip into the green. We are carefully going to get this on the bottom lash line. There's a little itty bitty fallout. So that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to get some inner corner highlight and we're gonna get some brow bone highlight happening. We're using my Fenty Beauty Galaxy Collection palette and yes, it broke, it fell on the ground. Thank God nothing happened to the eyeshadows, but yeah, so it's two different components now. We're gonna be using this shadow right here and I think it's called Ultraviolet, I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, I'm loving how that looks. Let's get some on the brow bone right here. Once I have it on the brow bone, we're just gonna blend. I might change my lipstick, I don't know, it's just like. I am going to get some mascara on my bottom lashes and we'll be back with our finished look. Here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Are you feeling this super glitter glam St. Patrick's Day makeup look? I'm kind of liking it. If you can't tell, my eyes are freaking tripping. I don't know what it is. Like, my eyes just always get red. I don't know what product it is that does it. I don't know what is going on. They just get red, and then there's nothing that I can do about it. So that's where we're at, <laughs> you know? So I did add a little gloss to my lipstick because I was just like, oh god, like it just looks so like not cute. I used um, Kylie X Coco lip gloss in Damn Gina and I really like the effect that it gave my lips. I really do like this look. Um, I don't know if I will be doing it or have enough time to do it on St. Patrick's Day, but I am off work this year so you know we're gonna go have some fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial. Tutorial. If you did like watching this makeup tutorial, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. What are your guys' plans for St. Patrick's Day? Who is actually going out and doing stuff? Who's going to be bar hopping? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!